Hello all, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to look at Azure policy. What is Azure policy and why do we need it? And uh, how can we create policy? And uh, what is initiative? And how can we use policies and initiative as a way of compliance? Azure policy is a service which uh, helps to uh, define a set of rules and we can uh, create those rules and assign those rules uh, to a particular set of uh, resources and we can uh, constantly check on the complaints uh, based on the uh, complaints which we have defined and if there is any deviation from uh, the policies then we can remediate it as well so if you look at some of the advantages of using Azure policies we can uh, uh, monitor the policies at uh, scale and we will be able to uh, uh, apply those uh, remediation step if there is any deviation from the defined policy. If we look at uh, steps involved in uh, creating a policy so there are a lot of pre-built uh, policy definitions as well so we can directly use them or if we want to create our own policy we can uh, create it as well and once we have done those creation we can assign those policies to a particular uh, uh, scope either it can be at a, a management group or a resource uh, group or a subscription level or even at a uh, uh, yeah so at the resource group level once uh, uh, this is one way of doing that the other way is uh, we can create something called an initiative. The difference here is that right, an organization might have a uh, n number of policies. There might be, be hundreds of policies. For example, uh, by default, diagnostics should be enabled for all the uh, virtual machines deployed or the storage accounts deployed. And we want to block uh, 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 the users uh, from deploying to all the regions and we allow only, uh, say for example, East US and West US. So like that, there might be n number of policy. And it will be a management overhead uh, if we want to assign uh, each and every individual policies. So that's why we create something called an initiative. And under that initiative, we assign multiple users uh, uh, or the policies. Say, for example, under single initiative, we can assign 100 policies. And we can just assign a single initiative to a particular resource. That means that all the 100 policies will be applied to that particular uh, resource or the scope. And once we assign that policy, we'll be able to monitor what is the evaluation for that particular uh, uh, policies or, or an initiative for that particular uh, resource scope. So again, we don't need to start everything from scratch. There are uh, many built-in policy definitions and there are a lot of GitHub samples as well, which is available, which we can directly reuse or we can uh, customize uh, for our requirements as well. So again, for initiative, we can create a new initiative or we can reuse it. And once we create new initiative, we will be able to select those policies which we want to use. And the scope of uh, initiative or policy is one more important thing which uh, we need to note. Whenever we are creating an initiative, we need to scope it at a particular level. Say for example, it might be management group or a resource group or a particular subscription. And if we scope that uh, uh, initiative or a policy at a particular uh, scope, then we can assign those policies or initiative under uh, uh, the hierarchy which is uh, below that scope. So that means that if a uh, policy is scoped at a uh, resource group level, we can't use that policies at a uh, higher level like subscription. So this is something which we need to keep in mind. Obviously, there is a compliance dashboard uh, which uh, provides uh, the real-time insights on uh, how much percentage is uh, the compliance for the resources based on the evaluated policies. And if there are any non compliance we will be able to create a remediation and uh, apply those uh, uh, steps which uh, make the resources compliant. So let's switch back to a demonstration. So currently we are in Azure portal. Let's uh, go to policy. 
if you look at the policy there is a overall dashboard which has a particular scope so here uh, we can uh, pick the right scope which we want to see say for example it may be management group or a subscription or a resource group and by default currently it is in subscription and that's okay for me but if I have chosen some other scope there this dashboard will be dynamically populated with the details based on that scope and next thing is what we have definitions so this is where we will be able to see all the built-in uh, policies and initiatives which is available in Azure and if you want to create one you will be able to do that so if you look at the definition type here it is initiative that means that this is a set of uh, uh, policies combined so each and every initiative uh, if you click on that you will be able to see multiple policies under that particular initiative so here this initiative has two different policies available and similarly if you want to see the policy let's uh, uh, filter the definition type to policy and we will be able to see the different policies as well and if you click on a uh, specific policy we will be able to see the policy definition as well so this is a JSON template which uh, we have defined for the policy if say for example we want to create our uh, one policy let's pick a default definition for auditing VMs that do not use managed disk if we want to modify anything we can just duplicate the definition and we can scope it as I mentioned we can scope it at higher level so we can scope it at a subscription level and if you want to modify uh, anything then we can modify this policy as well so let's uh, change so yeah whatever we want to do we can modify it here uh, but otherwise we can import directly from the github as well so once we done that click on save and once we save that we'll be able to see our customized uh, uh, policies as well so here the first one is the one which we have modified if you look at the type is custom and uh, again we have scoped at uh, uh, subscription level so we can directly assign this policy or we can create an initiative as well so let's create a new initiative and for this initiative we can pick what are the policy which you want, want to assign so here this is our custom policy and apart from that if you want to add some uh, uh, policies for backup we can do that as well so currently we have added two policies and we can name it as let's say test initiative and we can just tag it under a different category if you want to tag it under compute we can tag it or if you want to create our own category we can do that and here uh, some policy might have uh, uh, some set of uh, 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 like parameters available so which uh, uh, we can use so by default I don't want to uh, use that parameters anyway here so that's why I'm not assigning it so currently we are just using audit VM uh, policy and we just click on save so this will create a new initiative and if we select the initiative we should be able to see that initiative so now we can go inside that initiative 
and we can assign this initiative to a scope. So let us click on assign. and we can scope it to subscription so let's review and create and once we create it it will be successfully assigned so now if we come back to our policy and assignment we should be able to see what are all the assignment which is already there for this particular scope so here we have three initiatives already assigned so the latest one test initiative is the one which i have just assigned now and next thing is the compliance dashboard here it will take roughly half an hour to uh, evaluate the policy so in the beginning it will show as not started but after some time once it has evaluated it, it will show the compliance state as non-compliant or compliant and it will show how many resources is out of compliance how many non-compliant policy etc and overall compliance score so if uh, uh, the policy type is deploy if not exist then we can create a remediation plan as well and that will uh, uh, try to create a, 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 a policy or ARM template which will change the resources to make the resources compliant so this is how we can use Azure policies at scale at an organizational level and we can control what uh, a resource can do and what it can't do. So that's all for this uh, uh, module. Uh, see you in the next module.